Welcome to Caledonian Horticulture's Summer Gardening Guide. My name is Andy Peasgood, and although it's been a wet start to the summer this year, these are jobs that you can do throughout the summer season, regardless of the weather that's gonna help maintain your garden this year. Maintain your water butts and water features. I do this as good general gardening practice and what it really does, it helps in prolonging the lifespan of these items. For anything that collects rainwater, just like your water butts, you want to keep it clean and odour free over the season. This prevents the buildup of any algae in the system. And for your water features, you might not want to have green and murky water. So a solution like this is going to keep that water nice and clean and keep the filtration system in the pump nice and clean too. Deadheading. If you're looking for repeat flowering blooms throughout the season, then deadheading is essential. What deadheading will do is that it will stop the plant from sending its energy to creating seed heads and instead it will divert that energy to creating stronger growth and more blooms. Ventilate your cold frames and greenhouses. At this point in the year, it's really important to keep a good airflow through any of your cold frames or greenhouses. This helps the plants with respiration, photosynthesis, and preventing any buildup of diseases. Keep a check for any pests such as aphids and whitefly. The garden will have its natural ecosystem, but if you notice some significant damage to plants such as growth being stunted or any curling leaves, you may want to step in. Here, I'm having a bit of an issue with aphids that aren't clearing, but it's really important that if you do step in, that you use natural and organic methods. So I'm using this as a mix of water, olive oil, dish soap, and peppermint oil. So I'm gonna pump that up and then lightly spray it where the issue is occurring. Keep your containers and raised vegetable beds well watered and fed. They tend to lose moisture very quickly through the heat, through sun, but also through wind as well. So it's important that we keep adding that water for the plants to grow. Additionally, we want to keep them well fed. Compost tends to have a six week nutritional value life. So it's important that once that time's passed, we give that extra feed to give the nutrients for the plants to have a continued life in the compost. Keep a regular check on your vegetables. This will ensure that you get healthy and stress-free plants ready for good fruit and vegetable production. Here, I'm gonna be maintaining my tomato plants. As you can see, there's loads of strong foliage on the plant, but what I'm gonna do is de-leaf some of the lower leaves. That way, I can make sure that a lot of energy goes into growing fruit and not leaves, but also leaving enough up top so that it can still process all its photosynthesis. Help out in maintaining your wildlife ponds, especially if it's in a sunny location. This one is in quite a sunny location, so we often tend to get a bit of an algae buildup. So I'm using a sludge control every so often just to help reduce that. Keep an eye on all your vegetables. Try and carve out a few minutes each day to take a good walk around the garden and see exactly where your vegetable plants are. It's important to know when's the right time to harvest them because if you harvest them at the right time, nothing will turn, you can harvest them and then the plant can focus on producing another crop for you to harvest and bring to the table. Maintain the levels in your bird baths and wildlife ponds. In the warmer months, it can be more difficult for birds to find water and also water will evaporate as well. So keep a close eye on the bird baths and on the wildlife ponds and top up where needed.
Plan to tell any mature plants that you've bought from a garden retailer as soon as possible. Most probably up until the point you've bought it, that it would have been stacked and maybe picked up some disease such as powdery mildew, but also it would have been exposed to irregular sunlight patterns and watering patterns. So what we want to do is get it planted out as soon as possible and give it a good soaking so the plant can breathe, spread its roots and then get ready for a good show.